Good day, folks. You are back with Desdian News with me, Vanessa. Cambodia reopened the schools after lockdown. Thousands of students in Cambodia are returning to school after being locked up for several months. Students start lessons by limiting class size and safety measures after coronavirus precautions to prevent coronavirus disease. According to the Education Ministry, schools must provide hand washing facilities with soap or alcohol and have a medical room with first aid trained staff able to conduct a medical examination of students, teachers and school staffs. Such regulations will require schools to spray disinfectants in classrooms, libraries, bathrooms, cafeterias and across campuses, while chairs must be 2 meters apart and only 15 to 20 students will be allowed in each classroom at any given time. So far, Cambodia registered 292 COVID-19 infections and no deaths from the disease. Hardline Buddhists surrender to the police after a year run from the law. Libby Hogan reports hardline Buddhist nationalist monk, a man called himself Burmese bin Laden, Ashin Wiratu, hand himself over to the police in Myanmar's commercial capital of Yangon after over a year on the run from the law. Ashin Wiratu, 52, has been on the run from the authorities since May 2019 after being accused of sedition under a law which prohibits hatred or contempt or exciting disaffections towards the government. It carries a prison sentence of up to three years. He is a supporter of Myanmar's powerful military and critical of civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi, but he is also known for his rhetoric against the country's minority Muslim population, particularly against the persecution of Rohingya minority. Hundreds of his supporters also turned out when the arrest warrant issued for sedition. His surrender to authorities comes day ahead of November 8th national election, where Suu Kyi's party, the National League for Democracy, is expected to retain power. According to Reuters witnesses, in a video broadcast of a speech made to his supporter before he hands himself in, he accuses the Chinese government of bullying him. Indonesia immunizes children against polio and diphtheria. Health authorities in Banda Aceh, Indonesia, began a campaign to vaccinate children with the aim of preventing disease such as polio and diphtheria. According to the World Health Organization, each year global immunization and vaccination programs prevent 2 to 3 million deaths from diseases like diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, influenza, and measles. The government and experts concerned that the Indonesian children, who account for 30% of the population, could be at risk of other outbreaks from vaccine preventable diseases as the epidemic disrupts routine immunization across the country. The Health Ministry regulation on immunization stipulates that children aged below one year be given basic vaccines including against hepatitis B, polio, TB, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, measles, pneumonia, and meningococcal disease or bacterial meningitis. Meanwhile, the School Children Immunization Month program for booster shots of the diphtheria, tetanus, and measles vaccines are to resume once the elementary schools reopen. Many things are damaged by typhoon in Philippines. Many people displaced and infrastructures are damaged due to the torrential rain caused by the typhoon Goni in the north of the Philippines. According to the GMA television channel, the Department of National Defense indicated that the fatalities occurred in the region of Bicol in the northeastern part of the country, while 390,200 people are displaced, more than 49,000 out of the evacuation center. The Philippines Meteorological Agency says the typhoon hit the land at dawn Sunday with 225 km per hour at the level of a superficial, but it lost intensity at 125 km per hour and up to 170 bursts, which split on the destructive winds and moved from east to west, caused floods and landslides, mainly on the island of Luzon, also affected by the tropical storm Atsani. This island is the most populous in the Philippines. Around 180 million inhabitants of the archipelago and also its economic engine are impacted by the typhoon. At least 22 people died a week ago from Malave, the last typhoon in the Philippines that also wreaked havoc in Vietnam. The North Korean man who crosses border wants to defect South Korea's military. Seoul official says a North Korean man who crossed the heavily fortified border with South Korea says he wants to defect to the south. The man takes into custody in the demilitarized zone separating the two Koreas several hours after he was spotted crossing barbed wire fences installed along the border, prompting an urgent search operation. I understand the person has expressed his willingness to defect. South Korea Joint Chief of Staff's spokesman Kim jong rak told in a briefing declining to provide further detail during the ongoing investigation. 
양해해 주시기 바랍니다. The Joint Chief of Staff says authorities launches an investigation into how the men managed to cross the frontier. Philippines follow US election with bated breath. The Philippines joined the whole world to watch the unsettled outcome of the 2020 United States presidential election with bated breath. Americans voted on 3rd of November 2020 to choose the next president of the United States. The 2020 presidential election results remain undetermined as votes continue to count in the several key battleground states. Local newspapers carrying stories about the United States presidential election in Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. A Malaysian ex-pilot becomes a street food seller caused of coronavirus disease. A Malaysian ex-pilot, Azri Muhammad Zamawi, which wearing uniform and apron, served dinners to customers in his food stall, his new source of income after losing his job due to the coronavirus pandemic. Azrin, a captain working for the Malaysian airline Malindo Air, was fired along 2,200 other crew members due to the crisis. However, the ex-pilot decided to launch Captain Corner, where he sells local food, while waiting for the aviation industry to recover. Coronavirus is a global pandemic which has killed thousands of people and left many people out of work. At least 31 deaths and hundreds of people missing by typhoon in Vietnam center. The search and rescue tasks are centered in Traling, in the central province of Quang Nam, from where eight bodies, causing another loss and at least 48 missing among the children, include 14 missing of Vietnamese sailors. According to the Vian Express media, the difficulty of accessing the area complicates the operation during a day, registering heavy rainfall and under the threat of new landslides. Another landslide in Tran Van Kamini, some 20 kilometers of the south, killed seven people and one remained missing, according to the latest count by the authorities. The local Vietnam news portal reports the typhoon made landfall in Quang Nam around midday local time on Thursday and headed to the northwest of the country, causing the destruction of hundreds of houses and deaths of two people who fell from roofs as they tried to prepare for the arrival of Malave. A state television reported that the sea rescue has covered the body of 12 fishermen after their boat sank as they tried to return to the shore to avoid the typhoon. The Vietnamese Navy is working in the area where the ship is believed to have wrecked in the search of another 14 missing sailors. More than a half million people are sheltering in evacuation centers prepared before the arrival of Malave, which had already left 16 dead and 4 missing as it passed through the Philippines. The provinces affected by the typhoon have been suffering after three consecutive storms in a month and Malave is the fourth, which floats and avalanches has already caused 130 deaths and 20 missing. The International Federation of the Red Cross warned on Wednesday that more than 1.2 million homes had been destroyed by floods in central Vietnam before the arrival of the typhoon Mulave, which lost its strength on Wednesday afternoon until become a tropical depression on its way to Laos. Dozens of people survived of Vietnam landslides. Dozens of survivors are pulled from the mud in Vietnam after landslides triggered by Typhoon Malave, one of its strongest storms in decades. Lushes the central region already reeling from weeks of heavy rains that killed at least 160 people. At the site of one landslide that buried a village of 50 people in remote areas of Guanam province, rescue workers managed to find 34 survivors and 13 remained missing. More than a million people affected for weeks by the storms, which caused heavy rains and some of the worst flooding in years in central Vietnam, pushing relief agencies to their limits. Malave, which has left Vietnam, damaged 56,000 homes in the country and left millions without electricity, with heavy rain expected in the central region. State broadcaster VTV says the typhoon to a tropical depression after making landfall, the skies over the worst affected areas cleared. Chinese president awards Cambodia Queen Mother with Friendship Medal. Chinese President Xi Jinping awards Cambodian Queen Mother Norodom Moniniat Sihanouk the French Medal of the People's Republic of China. The awarding ceremony is held at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing. President Xi and First Lady Peng Liyuang later meet with the Cambodian King Norodom Sihamoni and the Queen Mother Norodom Moniniat Sihanouk. She says that China cherishes the profound friendships with the royal family of the Cambodia after appreciates their helps and the condolences message they sent when the coronavirus epidemic broke out in China. King Sihamoni expresses appreciation that she presents the Medal of the Friendships, China's highest honor for the foreigner, to the Queen Mother and continue to make efforts in deepening bilateral ties. And that's all for today. See you all soon.